Good evening everybody and welcome to the Survivor Series predictions video. My name is Devlin J here with my co-host again Dan Nightwing Green. Say hello Daniel. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, what you got there? It was a bit yeah. <laughs> uh, we are here once again for the big four uh, predictions episode. Uh, it's, it's come around so quickly. I mean, it does just seem five minutes since we did SummerSlam. Yeah. Um, this one's a little bit different. Uh, we are actually going to be talking about NXT first, which is going to be held on Saturday. Not this Saturday. It's next Saturday, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. The reason why we're doing this a week early, <laughs> if people haven't noticed, the reason why we're doing this a week early yeah. is um, the fact that Dan is actually going to be away next week. Yeah. Um, so this is the only opportunity we've been able to actually get to do the predictions. Excuse me. Um, and so, um, but luckily, most of the, um, most, pretty much all the card is done. I think we're just waiting on, on confirmation for one superstar for, for the Survivor Series. But yeah. At least everything's all sorted out, so we can actually get on with this and do it a week early. Be ahead of the game, is what we like to say. Yeah, um, we never are. We never are. We're already late. Yeah. <laughs> we're already late, late with these things. I say, like, I mean, every time we we sort of try to decide to do a predictions thing, there's normally hundreds of videos already on YouTube with already their predictions. I think. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I need a bleep there. I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, but luckily we're actually going to be getting this up and running straight away, and we are actually going to kick it off with War Games. Um, obviously, this is a big deal for for us. I mean, we we used, we both love the original War Games, um, and it's nice to see that WWE have actually decided to bring this back after. I need to refer to my notes. 19 years. <laughs> 19 years ago was the last War Games match ever. Yeah. Um, and it's it's great for them to bring it back, really. And it, I think it's a good thing that they're bringing it back in NXT and not actually in yeah, the main, um, main cards. Yeah, because it adds something to NXT... You know, they they only did cage matches like mm. recently, really. In yeah. The grand expanse. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, WWE get all the shit with the elimination chamber and stuff. Yeah. So exactly. it's just yeah, it is good. It's, it's 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 nice for NXT to get a boost on on something different, really. Yes. Um. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go straight into the the card for War Games, and we're actually doing this a little bit differently today. Yeah. Dan is getting the reins on this one. I'm, I'm getting the Roman reins. You're getting the on, Roman reins on this one, and he is actually yeah. going to be going through all the matches for yeah. for NXT War Games. Okay, guys. So the first match of uh, NXT or whatever, we never get this order right, do we? We never do. No. So, no. So let's just go for it. So yep. it's Alistair Black versus the Velveteen Dream. Um, this kind of all came about like a mini feud, I suppose. Um, Alistair came out and started doing a promo about his career so far and all this sort of thing. And basically Dream came out and said, you're talking horse um, And then they had a bit of a scrabble over a few NXTs and then Black says, I, I, I want to fight you. And Dream says, yes. Very standard. Very, very, very standard um, um, WWE very storytelling. Standard <laughs> um but yeah, um, not sure on this one. Mm. Um, if I've... I was to pick, I mean, go on. Well, I mean, what all I was going to say was when I was writing out our listings for this uh, this recording, um, I had no idea who the hell Velveteen Dream was. <laughs> I I I thought it was a faction. <laughs> it does sound like a faction. It sounds like a tag team. Or... Yeah. The Velveteen like Dream. It sounds like something me and you would call our tag team on uh, 2K. 
Yeah, definitely. Just oh, we've got to do that. We've got to make. We've got to make ourselves the Velveteen Dream. <laughs> yeah, watch that coming up, guys. Well, yeah, sure definitely watch that coming doing. up. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll do a tag team. We'll do a bit couple of matches on that. Yeah, but um, um, uh, we're getting off topic. <laughs> we're getting very off topic. Um, I think uh, Black's gonna win. Yep. Uh, um, I think it's one of those. It's been a very classic key feudy thing anyway. So I think it's one of those where Black gets undermined and then he beats him and then everyone now goes, oh, Black's actually got a couple of balls. Um, so yeah, I think Black's going. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm. Um, I'm not personally myself. I'm not too fussed about NXT. So um, I'll, no, I'm just going to. Can we do this? Because he couldn't be f-ed to do it himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anything that he says, I'm just going to agree with. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so your next match. Okay, guys. So the next match is a fatal four-way match for the vacant NXT Women's Championship. Um, I'm going to use notes for this one. So if I'm looking down, he's looking at his why. penis. Um, <laughs> penis. Penis. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. We um, so this match is against uh, Carrie Sane. Um, Peyton Royce, Amber Moon, uh, Ember Moon, sorry, and um, Nikki Cross. Um, this one, so basically, Azuka obviously relinquished um, her NXT Women's Championship um, following injury, um, and then after that, she got moved up to main roster. And she went to Raw, so it's been vacant since then. Um, Kerry Sane. Um, won Mae Young's Classic um, and got herself a chance to um, fight for the championship at War Games. Um, and then Regal comes along, the son of a gun. Son of a gun. He, he wants it as a fatal four way, um, which he decided with a couple of jolly matches, which we'd all um, enjoy. And actually, they were pretty good. You should watch those. Mm. Um, they were running through, um, I think they were running through September. Um, um, basically, uh, Peyton, sorry, defeated Nikki Cross and Liv Morgan, so Peyton got her chance. Um, Ember Moon defeated Ruby Riot and Sonya Bill, and then uh, Nikki Cross came back and eliminated Billy Kay in a battle royale. So that's how they all got in. Um, I don't know. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. Um, it's it can be a bit. Ooh. Yeah, um, there's been quite a lot about this. It's mm. a bit, you know, everyone's had their little bits with each other. Um, it's a it's a tough one. This one. I mean, um, in in for me, and this is somebody that who doesn't follow NXT at all. Um, but all fatal four ways. It, it, it's one of them. It can, it can go anywhere. It yeah. It'll be it'll be nice to see. Uh, Carrie Sane win it. Well, I'd like to see her win it. Yeah. So I'll go. I'll go with. Carrie. Go with Carrie. Yeah. Go with Carrie on that one. Um, I say it'll be a nice. It'll be a nice boost for her, obviously winning um, the May Young tournament, and then having a basically having her first match as the title match at War Games, and then even to go and win that as well. I think that that would, mm-hmm. that would definitely show. Um, they they need to replace Azuka somewhere. Yeah, because well we all know what Azuka is like. Even you don't like NXT, and you knew. Uh, I'll, so I've, I'll, after watching some of the matches on Raw and um, the matches at um, at the last part of TLC, the uh, first match of TLC, Christ. Yes. <laughs> so they they've kind of lost Azuka now in NXT yeah. and need to replace her with someone. Yeah. Um, they're not, obviously, they're not going to have the same theatrics, but no. you know. So yeah, Carrie would be good for that. Mm. I think they oh, could yeah. mold her properly, then it would work. So yeah, yeah, Carrie. So Carrie, Car- same. Yeah. We move to the NXT title. Let's do that. Yes. Next one, guys, is for uh, the NXT Championship uh, versus McIntyre and Amos. Um, very simply, I like McIntyre. I like Drew, so I'm just gonna say Drew. So he's, he's just gonna say Drew's gonna retain. I, I like him as a champion. Yeah, he's like um, the next Bobby Roode, really, isn't he? As champion. Yes. Mm. And I haven't said this to anyone on video yet because we've been away for a while. Oh, but dear. Bobby Roode, I f-ing love him. Bleep it, I don't care. 
he, he he's awesome, and his uh, his entrance theme is my alarm on my phone every morning. So every time I wake up, I hear the choirs of Gloria. Glorious. I love Bobby Roode. Anyway, so yes, <laughs> Drew. I like Drew, and I think Drew should win anyway. So that's going to be my prediction. Okay, cool. And you? There's been odd silence there. Go on. Well, oh, Make you want to hear? You want to hear? You want to hear my opinions on this? Yes, I do. And okay. Probably your, your opinions on Bobby Roode as well, if you care to share. My opinions on the NAC title match, uh, Drew McIntyre. <clears throat> okay, and your opinions on Bobby Roode? You gotta love him. Okay, guys, the final match before War Games is the singles match for the United Kingdom uh, title. Um, it's it's our home, it's our home title. Hang on, I'm yeah. just I'm just gonna dub some patriotic music in right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, so this match is uh, Pete Dunne, who is champion, um, against uh, Gargano. Gargano. Gar- Gar- um, Johnny Gargano. Yeah, Gargano. 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 Doesn't Gargano. sound very British. No, it doesn't I mean, really, does it? Dunne. Pete, Pete Dunn sounds like a British name, okay? I say P- P- Pete Dunn sounds like the typical British football hooligan. Yeah, he he sounds like the guy that's a builder, you know. Oh, it's Pete, it's Pete down the pub, you know, Pete Dunn. Sounds like a yeah, painter you know, and decorator. You know, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I think uh, Gargano, Gargino, Gargano will probably win. Really? Um, yeah. Um, I think Dunn's got some patio to do somewhere up in Leicester. I, so. I, I have I have a strange feeling. Uh, you may be right, and the fact that um, uh, that Pete Dunn may be being pushed onto main card. Yeah, mm. this is the other thing as well. So yeah, um, yeah he's got brick lane in. He's got main card as well. Yeah. He's, he's a busy man. I, um, um, I I do like the fact that um, they are including the uh, United Kingdom title. In uh, NXT, in a takeover, in a, in a yeah. takeover event, it, it's nice yeah. to see that. And I mean, obviously, recently, past couple of days, um, obviously, the Raw and SmackDown have both been over here this week. Mm-hmm. Um, it is nice to see both of them actually on Raw yeah. and SmackDown. Yeah, and we wanted to go. Didn't we did. We? we did. We missed it. We did. We wanted to go, to, especially Raw. We wanted yeah. to see Raw because uh, there was there was so much happened on Raw. This, oh uh, yeah, this Monday, and um, we would be doing our predictions there in the hotel. Oh, anyway, yeah. whatever. It would unfortunately that didn't happen. It didn't but, happen. But, um, yeah, Gargano, Gargano, Gargano. Um, <laughs> I believe will win this match. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with you because I, I have a strange feeling. Obviously, that Pete Dunne's going to be moving up. I, I do hope he goes to Raw because I mean he, he was he was there on Monday and he yeah. he made a massive impression on it and. He did. Um, was, good job done. Oh, good, good job. Definitely good job, and it would be it would be nice for obviously for Angle to uh, to bring him in. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, so we get to the main event. Oh, the the pay per view title ma- uh, well main match. Yes, let's kick it off as War Games. Okay, guys, um, we're going to go into the War Games match, but first we're going to have a talk about the history of War Games um, and. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, we are. Um, so we're going to talk about the history of war games, and then I will talk about basically the original format for the war games match, um, and then Dan will uh, come in with um, basically how NXT are going to be running the war games match itself, and with our predictions of that match. Yes. So yes. the um, the original war games itself was actually created by the late great. Dusty Rhodes, late great Dusty Rhodes. Um, he was actually inspired. You, you quite, quite, quite like this. He was actually inspired by um, the film um, Mad Max Beyond Thunder. Was he really? He was. See, I yeah. didn't know that. Uh, Beyond the Thunderdome. Um, yeah, he was actually inspired okay. by that film. Um, yeah. And um, it. I, I don't know how someone would, after watching Mad Max Beyond the Thunderdome, would come across with, hmm, I've got an I idea for a say, match. I'm, <laughs> I'm not seeing the relation either. No. Anyway. 
but the first match itself was back in 1987 at NWA's Great American Bash. I was but a sperm back then. But a sperm. Um, but a sperm. It was then, uh, it was kept as um, a Great American Bash tradition for uh, for 87, 88 and 89. Um, and then when, obviously when uh, Ted Turner took over NWA and it became WCW, um, in 1991 it was uh, back as in the Great American Bash. In 92, it went to Wrestle War, uh, and then it became a tradition for uh, Fall Brawl uh, from 93 to 98. Yeah. 1998 was the very last time we saw the War Games match. It was indeed. For people who don't know about the War Games match, it is a very confusing well not confusing but very it's not confusing it's not confusing it's a very very interesting match um, it consists yeah. of two rings side mm-hmm. by side with one cage surrounding both rings yeah. um, back in the day uh, it was you had two teams of either four members or five members um, and it would start with one member of, of each team entering the cage um after five minutes, uh, a member of one of the teams, which was normally um, normally chosen by either a coin toss, uh, an arm wrestling match, um, or even just a fight, um, and that's how they figured out who who was going to go into the match. Sometimes, as well, it was always it was uh, the heel team was the yeah. was the next person to go in because then it, it turned up into a, a two on one handicap match. Mm-hmm. Um, so after five minutes, uh, the next next person from one team would enter the match, um, and then after every two minutes, uh, a member from the alternative team would enter the match, and then it would go two on two, then three on two, four on two, and so on. Uh, not four mm-hmm. on two, three on three, four on three, and so on. Uh, until yeah. all um, all members of both teams have entered the, uh, the cage, and after all eight or ten members have entered the cage, um, the the match beyond would actually begin, yes. um, and that entails of the fact that there's no pinfalls, no countouts, no disqualifications. Uh, the only way to win there is no eliminations in this match either. Uh, no. But the only way to win was the fact that for one person from a team to either submit, surrender, or get knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Quite violent. It was a end. very, very violent match. Um, yes. I mean, uh, the, obviously with the with the fact of the cage as well, because um, a lot of people when they think about the war games match, it's literally just a cage. It's not. It's li- it's a hell in a cell, basically. Yeah. Um, but it, it hasn't got the. It, well, it didn't have the uh, bits around the the ring itself, so you couldn't actually get out of the ring. It was a cage, a cage itself. Level with the ring, but it had a level roof. with the ring. Yeah, yeah. Um, a full-on cage. A full-on cage with a roof, but yeah. it's the it's the it's the the fact of it. It's a one cage with two rings. I think is a really clever idea. Yeah. Um, but NXT and WWE obviously this year have actually changed it up a bit to obviously stick it stick PG. within the PG era. I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Dan, you want to kick in and. Um, Explain how NXT are doing it this year. Yes, so uh, so we got three teams. Uh, we have Sanity, uh, Undisputed Era, and uh, we have Office of Pain. Sorry, with Roderick Strong mm-hmm. um, attached. Um, all three teams will be contained in sharp cages um, around the entrance of the cage, um, and the match will begin with one person from each team inside the cage itself. Um, after five minutes. Um, the remaining members of the second team will join the match, which will mean you'll have a three on one on one. Yeah. Um, yeah. After three minutes following that, <laughs> you're going to have the remaining members of the third team come in. Um, so you will have a three on three on one. Yep. 
And then after another three minutes, you will have the remaining members of the fourth team come in, which makes it 3v3v3. Yeah. Uh, at that point, then, we obviously enter the War Games match itself, where then someone can win the match. Um, victory can actually be attained on this one by pinfall or submission, so it's kind of normal um, rules of winning. Yeah. But yeah, it's going to be interesting in the middle stages of the match when you've got kind of like 3v1v1. Yeah. Like especially would one and one take out three? Or say especially, with, especially uh, say if you've got one member of Authors of Pain and one member of the Undisputed Era, uh, the Undisputed Era and then you've got the entire sanity in there. Yeah. You sort of think, oh, f <laughs> Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not sure on the order as well, by yeah. the way. So, it, and this match would probably be very much dictated by the order. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it just coming I, uh, back. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this as well. Um, it, it's it's going to be great. I mean, it, this is this has been um, one a long time coming. Mm. Um, as we said before, it's 19 years coming. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not just war games that. Um, WWE are bringing back as an old WCW thing. They're actually bringing back Starcade as well, which is another great pay per view that we are both looking forward to. Yeah. Um, we will be doing a live stream on that um, because I would actually be with Dan at that point. Um, yes. So we are actually going to be doing a live stream, uh, not over Skype for a change, uh, no. but actually face to face. And we're going to have our little notes with us, and we're going to be doing that live on YouTube, so that'll be fun. <laughs> great. Because uh, Starcade itself is actually, uh, just a little spoilers for everyone, it's actually on Dan's birthday. It is. <laughs> it's on my birthday. Starcade returns on Dan's birthday. Um, but no, yeah, we're um, going to do that live on, on my sofa. On, on that sofa, yeah. On that sofa. Um, which which will be good. good. Yeah, it was, which will yeah. be good. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, no, it's it's going to be great that the fact that they are decided to bring some old WCW things into the new into. era of, of WWE. Um, yeah. So I'm really looking forward to it, definitely. It's going to be a good yes. end to the year, I think. Yeah, and I don't want to make a prediction on this match. I don't either, because it, it's going to be one of the matches that's going to be too good to predict. And it's not because I don't... No, per se. I, I, I want to think I know who might win or that I want to win. But I'm more impressed with the fact that War Games has come back over yeah. the fact that I have to pick someone. So I'm just going to sit there and enjoy it. I think everyone else should too. Yeah, exactly. And I'll tell you what, this is actually going to be the first NXT TakeOver I'm going to watch for a bloody long time. It is. Uh, because I'm so looking Last forward to it. Last one you watched was London, was it? Last one I watched, uh, yes, was TakeOver London. Yes. Yes. So a while ago. Yes. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this one, and I hope it's going to be a good war games. I'm really looking yep. forward to it. It's, good, a, a, good, it's a good card, and uh, definitely that war games match is definitely going to kick off. It, it will. It will um, fizz my twinkle berries. That's an image. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. We, we shall now move on to Survivor Series. <laughs> 